Welcome to the MacMerlin QMK Configurator Tutorial. The purpose of this video is to help you navigate through the user interface and show you how to make a keyboard firmware for your keyboard. All links mentioned in this tutorial will be listed in the description down below. Let's begin! Step 1. Navigate to config.qmk.fm Step 2. Select the keyboard you are creating firmware for. There is no such thing as a universal keyboard firmware that will work on all boards. Some boards may also share the same name but have a different PCB version. Please make sure you choose the correct keyboard. I'll say that again because it's absolutely important. Please be sure you have chosen the correct keyboard. In my case, I'm choosing the DZ60. Step 3. Select your desired layout. This layout should match your physical keyboard's layout as close as possible. The QMK contributors have tried their best to provide many layouts. Unfortunately, they still cannot match everyone's use case. For example, if layout underscore all is chosen, but you have a 6.25 unit spacebar, simply fill out these three keys, all with space. For the keys to the right of the spacebar, if you only have four keys, well, then you'll have to do some guess and check and see which of these five keys you should put the four keys in. Step 4. Give your keymap a name that you can remember and easily find. Step 5. Learning the different ways to populate your keymap. Some keyboards, such as the 1UP60 HSE, have defaults already predefined. In that case, you can simply hit Load Default and the keyboard will be populated. However, in our case, the DZ60 has no such capability. Someone please contribute it. We'll have to do the keymap the old-fashioned way. Creating your keymap can be done in three ways. Number one. Drag and drop. Drag and drop keys from the selections down below to the keyboard layout visual. Number two, clicking. You can click a spot on the keyboard visual and then click a key code from down below. Number three, use the keyboard to input the desired key code. Click on the keyboard visual and press a key on your physical keyboard. Choose any combination of key map entry to create your key map. Step 6. Learning what you want in your keymap. Key codes are separated into five different tabs. If you are unsure what a key code does, hover over it and the description will appear in a blue bar on the bottom of your screen. The first two tabs are ANSI and ISO, containing the most commonly used ANSI and ISO keys. The next tab is QUANTUM. QUANTUM contains keys unique to QMK. In here you'll find keys such as MO, which is most often known as your FN key. You'll find things such as layer tap, which lets you tap a key for a key code and hold for a layer, and even an any key if there is a key code not supported by the QMK configurator. The keyboard settings tabs contain several settings such as backlight and RGB underglow, Lastly, the App, Media, and Mouse tab allows you to choose things such as muting your volume or turning it up and down. If you would like even more detail on what a key code does, please click the keyboard reference link to read some of QMK's documentation. If you would like more than one layer on your keyboard, simply click the layer you want to modify. This can be found to the left of the keyboard visual. Step 7. After you have created your keymap and are satisfied, make sure you press the Export Keymap button. This saves the keymap you have created in JSON format. This is done so you can import it back in for additional edits. This JSON file is made specifically for QMK Configurator and will not be compatible with other tools. Step 8. Press the compile button and wait for the potato to finish baking. 
If you would rather not see a potato baking, you can click anywhere on your screen to disable the animation. Step 9. Once the compilation is done, you can press the download firmware button. After the download has completed, you may flash this file onto your keyboard using tools such as QMK Toolbox. For more details on how to do this next step, please refer to my QMK Toolbox video. Optional Step 10. You may have noticed that upon finishing a successful compilation, two other buttons were now clickable. If you would like access to the full source code of your keyboard to perhaps add macros or custom code, please press download full source. Please be aware that downloading the full source results in an over 100 megabyte download. If you already have a developer environment set up and simply need a keymap file, you can press the download keymap only button and you will get a keymap.c. This will be a far smaller download than the full source download. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and that I have made the process even a little easier. If you need additional help or have any questions, please leave a comment or visit the QMK Discord. Once again, all links are provided down below. Thank you.